So just to quote Obi-Wan Kenobi from A New Hope, who's more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows it? Yes, the Star Wars Battlefront beta has come to an end, and from what I've seen on Twitter amongst my friends and in my sub box on YouTube, you all certainly have been enjoying it. And not to sound like I'm blowing my own trumpet here, but I told you so. <laughs> yes, I did make a video a while back and I was a little excited for this beta and I'm so, so glad that it was good and it was worth it because there's nothing worse than eating my own words. Now, unfortunately for me, I didn't get much playtime on the beta because, as you all know, I was at my first gaming convention in Manchester over the weekend. You'd think they would have timed it a little better. And the worst thing of all, the beta wasn't actually available to play at the fucking thing. You'd think they would at least have rigged up a few more PS4s and downloaded the beta and let us play it. Ah well, at least I got to see David Price, the original Darth Vader, even though he is about 81 now. It was nice to see the man behind the mask. But enough of that, enough of me and my weekend shenanigans. The Star Wars Battlefront beta was downloaded by quite a few people over the weekend. Roughly around 9 million, and to be honest, that's a lot for a beta. Actually, it was announced today, this is the largest beta in the history of EA. As it was, some senior producer announced it over Twitter today, so bravo to that. And to be honest, I can't wait for launch, which I think's due out on November 17th, I think. And actually, it's a Tuesday, for anyone interested. And funny enough, this coincides with the new movie coming out almost exactly one month later, on December 18th. And yes, just to confirm, EA have announced tie-in DLC based on the new movie. Shock. <laughs> Not really. Anyway, to make a few extra dollars, must be taking some advice from the guys over at Sledgehammer. Listen EA, take my advice. Please, no supply drops. They may seem like a great idea at the start, but to be honest, I really couldn't go another six months maneuvering around YouTube like it's a fucking minefield and the mines being supply drop opening videos. Enough, no more, please move on. This beta kinda got me thinking today once I heard how good the beta was. And, you know, for both us, the gamers and the development team, and publishers, EA and DICE, will we see more betas in the future? Is this the next new thing that developers and publishers will incorporate into advertising their game? Now, in my opinion, it's fucking genius. Think about the Black Ops 3 beta. It was flawed with glitches and overpowered, underpowered weapons and perks and specialists. But a huge talking point and massive publicity for Black Ops 3 for weeks. And to be honest, people would still be talking about it if it wasn't for this beta getting in the way. Something new and fresh to talk about and, well, make YouTube videos about. But both in my eyes are a huge success, to be honest, there's no doubt about it. We've had demos over the years giving us a small teaser of upcoming games, i.e. FIFA or whatever else, but actual online, fully functional multiplayer action, you know, giving us a taste of what to expect without giving too much away. Brave, to be honest, but really, really good marketing on behalf of the developers and the publishers. So is this going to be the norm from now on? As gamers and consumers, do we expect this from now on? You tell me, that's what the comment section's for. <laughs> and am I actually going to buy this game and launch? Well, you'll have to wait and see. Now just before I go, if you're wondering what's going on with the gameplay in the background, no, it's not mine. But I will thank Gillespie Gaming for lending me this... <coughs> excuse me to get into character. Awesome and epic gameplay he obtained while broadcasting live to YouTube over on his channel, link in the description below, go check it out. And back in character. But yeah, thanks for allowing me the gameplay. I obviously, as I said, didn't obtain too much over the weekend. And are you happy now? <laughs> for your little shout out. So anyway, this is not a my impressions video of Star Wars Battlefront beta because it's just a beta. Or a review video because, well simply, to review a game or a beta you would have to put in time and some actual hands-on gameplay with the beta, which I obviously didn't get the chance to do, but from the few hours I did get and watching all my friends' videos on YouTube, all I will say is it was really, really good. <laughs> I really wish I could finish off on a really smart and witty line from the movie, but I'm just drawing a blank at the minute. I'm sure I'll stick in a comment later below, so, or I don't know, maybe about three days time I might come up with something. 
But anyway, I'm off to make up with my PlayStation 4 who is sitting sulking in the corner right now because I chose to upload a video to YouTube rather than spend some quality time with it. So wish me luck with that. Could be a long night. Anyway, as always, see you all in the next video. Love you. Bye.